Okay, demonstration on how to assemble a case. This one's a uh, 2171. Okay, we're going to try it with the uh, bearing unseated to the, uh, to the uh, crankshaft. I'm going to try to do this in uh, a different way than the book says. Let's see what happens. I'm using this special puller tool. And let's see if we can pull the two halves together. Looks like this might have to be put on some kind of a holder to stop this case from spinning around. Once we get most of the way down, we'll figure it out. Bearings halfway seated. Oops, make sure you don't. Okay, bearings halfway seated. A little bit more, and we'll have these pins starting to engage the other half. If I wasn't doing a movie, I'd clamp this in a vise and then turn that sucker and hold this sucker and get it to line up just right. In fact, I think I'll go do that. Okay, so there it is clamped in the vise. Okay, the pins are in, and now you just got to make sure the gasket stays in place. You're supposed to put grease on it and hold it to the one side of the case while you're doing So that worked by clamping that in the vise and tightening the case up. Pull the bearing and the crankshaft into that half without having to first do the bearings on the crankshaft and then the bearing and then pulling the crankshaft into the half. I did it in one step. Put grease on everything. Makes it easier and once the case touches quit pulling or you'll strip the threads off the crankshaft. Okay, thank you very much.